and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, you guys are in what time it is. It's Ultimate Legend Saturday now. I'm super hyped. We're finally getting some usable players. As you guys do know, we're also upgrading the overalls, which is quite a first at this point because we've been stuck, absolutely stuck in 96, 97s. I've been waiting. Finally hitting the 98 range, which means they're finally worthwhile to upgrade, in my opinion, because you know why? Because a 98 overall powered up is 99 overall. So finally getting some great use out of some of these cards. Now, guys, some of these cards that are coming out, probably going to be expensive for the meantime, but we do have power passes. That is the beauty of this new series update we just got. We do have some 98 power passes, which means you can power up any of those players that will be coming out. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use them on them. I'll use it on a rare card. Got to wait and see. Got to sell some stuff in the binder. Get the coins up a little bit. You guys already know. Now, as far as Ultimate Legend Saturday, guys, you guys know today's the best day to snipe and to buy cards. I will be dropping a market video later today going over what's a snipe, what I'm looking at, and kind of the prices and what's worthwhile and how things will go down a little bit more. Make sure to check that video out later today. And, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on new boys. Come join the family. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Guys, comment down below if you have any questions regarding the new guys. And in my opinion, I'm going to go over to the block right now. Kind of, They're, they're in packs already. But... I don't think any have been pulled just yet, but what will they be going for, for all you guys wondering? If we're following the free agency pace right here, they probably should be going for the 300k range. Off the rip, though, I imagine they'll probably be somewhere in like the 700, 600k range, and they'll probably slowly come down to around 3 to 400k. Maybe by next weekend, I think they'll be like settled, settling around 350. The LTD, though, really, really good, depending on the player that uses him, so he could be pretty expensive. We gotta go check that out, guys. I do have an ultimate legend pack for you guys. Sitting in my item binder, whatever you want to call it, my, uh, I have my pack binder, if you want to call it that, from leveling up in the series. Guys, I recommend today, if you guys haven't leveled up yet and you're at level 90, start leveling up, you get two free Ultimate Legend packs. You can then go ahead to use those in order to go ahead and try your chance at pulling one of the LTs, which could be super awesome. I will be opening one during this pack of uh, this video. And there's also something that you can do for 400 MUP points, which is a guaranteed 97. It's not anything special, but can't knock a free 97 in my opinion. But guys, super excited for today's Ultimate Legends. Let's go check them out. Let's go see everything that has to come with them. And hopefully, hopefully they're fire. And hopefully the stats are good. Guys, right, so let's head on over. Things are obviously out at this point, I believe. Let's go check out. Yep, Ultimate Legend bundle is up as per usual, guys. Very expensive for these bundles. I don't know whose idea was to make 180k, but that's too expensive for my blood. I would never waste that amount of coins on a pack. I, I just can't fathom it. Like literally, and that's what they don't understand, right? Let's say I open this pack. For literally, like, 180k, I can buy a full Ultimate Legend. So, why try to pull one? When it, it, like, uh, best case scenario, literally the best case scenario, is you pull a full Legend. I mean, a full Ultimate Legend. Which could just be, very simply, a 96, which, they go for that price. Some of them are actually even cheaper than that. It, does, it doesn't make sense to me. But let's go open our full Legend pack, because we do have one saved up just for this video. And guys, if we pull some, that would be pretty crazy. Let's open up our Twitch Drop pack first, for some good luck. Warm the pack up a little bit, because... Never want to go and dry to a pack. Then we're going to get a little Will Harris action. Open up another one real quick. Warm it up. Let's see if we can even... I don't even know if you can pull some good out of these, but I just pulled an 80, so I mean, I guess elites are possible. All right, Adam Thielen. Okay, I'm ready to go. I don't open these often, guys. So when I do open them, I get a little out of hand. I'm not used to opening So we got two rounds. Okay, let's see how this works. So first round, we got a base elite. Kenny Clark. We got a platinum coin card right there. We get 81 Jarrell Casey. Damn it. All right. Another base elite right there. We get Michael Brockers, base gold, a team of the week, Juan Thornhill. We get a, I couldn't tell you what that, ooh, theme builder. I will take that. Okay, so you're coming with me. I got two Juan Thornhills next to each other. I'll take that. I'll take that. Thank you. I, I, get, th I get more? I get four? Okay, hold on. Yeah, guys, I'm. Uh, you guys don't open these much. All right. Final round, we get another theme builder card. 95 Matt Milano. Huh. Okay, Ultimate Legend pack. I don't know who you are, where you came from, but I like it. Uh, Ultimate Legend low piece, 86 Julius Peppers. Ultimate Legend low piece, 87 Calvin Johnson. And we get an Ultimate Legend low piece. Don't care, because I got him, and I got you. That was an awesome pack. Oh, boy, I just made, like... 250k probably off these what do you go for huh what do you say? okay yeah i made a lot of coins right there i will take that now let's go check out the ultimate legends on the block that was pretty awesome guys not gonna lie some good ass packs those were some good packs 
See, that's the thing. If you don't open them a lot, when you do open them, you're always excited because <laughs> they usually suck for you. I will take that any day of the week. Let's go open. Let's go to Ultimate Legends. Let's filter these out. Yeah, so Mean Joe Green is up on the block. 98 overall defensive tackle for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Super excited to check this card out. Can be powered up. 80 speed, 85 excel, 97 strength, 94 tackle, 92 player rack, 98 block shed, 95 power move, and 81 finesse move. Now let's go compare him to my current tackle, which is Geno Atkins. Same athleticism, way better strength, way better tackle, less play rec, way better block shed, same pass rushing. Okay, so he's not the biggest upgrade over Geno, but the big upgrade is going to be block shedding. That alone can stand him out as a big upgrade just because block shedding is the difference between stopping a run and not stopping a run. And powered up and Kemp going to have 99 block shed, as well as going to get to 99 power move fully uh, powered up. Card looking super solid. I obviously need to compare him to like an Alan Page type guy, but card does look amazing. I really do like this card. Six foot four, great height. Let's see what his strength is a 97. Wow, this card, this card, this card's pretty good. I think this card's really good. The only thing, like I said, have to compare him to a few other guys first, like a Warren Sapp, like an Alan Page level guy before I really give my full opinion on it. But I think he's really solid. Powered up going to be a 99. Is end game at this point. I mean. You're not going to get much better than that unless they drop some crazy athletic defensive tackle, which, quite honestly, I don't envision them dropping for quite a while. Checking out if there's anything else in there, but I do want to... 1.4, 1.04 mil, guys. I told this card was going to be pretty expensive. This card is not going to be cheap for quite a while. Probably until, like, next year. I think that by... Well, quite a while as in a week. I don't have to wait a week. We're all locked down in our houses for the most part, though, so you guys going to probably feel like a long time for most people if they're waiting for this Mean Joe Green. Not that in relation that even really matters. We got Joe Thomas up next, who I'm super excited for. 93 strength, 96 awareness, 98 pass block, 95 pass block power, 98 pass block finesse, 95 run block, 96 run block power, and 96 run block finesse. Check him out compared to my Walter Jones. Wow, he blows him away. He blows him away. Way better awareness, better pass block, better pass block power, better pass block uh, finesse, right? I, I called the footwork a few times. Uh, same run block, same run block power, and better run block finesse. So yeah, he's... He's better. He's a better overall tackle. In my opinion, is it worth the upgrade at this moment in time? For the price, no. Okay, he's not way better. He is better. And at this stage in the game, better is a lot because it's going to be harder to get better on cars that can be upgraded. So, set it and forget it. 99 overall powered up. Going to be a great left tackle. You should wait for his price to come down a little bit because at this moment in time, that price is kind of a lot. It's a high price tag to pay for a left tackle. Like I said, I think they will come down to about 400 k They just won't come down to... They are the first 98 like Ultimate Legends. Wow, all in order. Thank you, Krishna Koi. 93 speed, 95 strength, 94 awareness, 97 carrying. Whoever just did that, that's not nice. 66 catching, 90 run block, 94 lead block, and 98 impact block. Now, this card, compared to any fullback guys, like I said, going to be the best speed blocking combo. Like I told you, like there was uh, there was Kyle Juszczyk. I can't say his name. Don't kill me. He could block. Wasn't that fast. There was, like, Franco Harris. He, he was fast. Couldn't block. Krishna Koi can block like a lineman, like better than some linemen. He can run block, lead block, put people on their ass. He's fast. He's tall. He can't catch the best, but again, fullbacks, they don't, they don't, they're not covered. They just get open. You throw it to him, and that's what you got to make plays. Super good. Can truck, can carry guys. You can throw fullback dive. He's the ultimate weapon. Like a gun split close scheme where you use a fullback. Him and another running back, ultimate two, ultimate two combo. Highly recommend Christian Okoye, guys. That is about it for the video, though. In terms of going over the stats, guys, super excited. They came out in order. Usually, they have to wait a while. All in nice order. Mean Joe Green, Joe Thomas, and Christian Okoye. Usually... I get one and then two of these and three of these and I have to wait for the LTD. That was perfect timing, guys. But about it for the Ultimate Legends. Guys, that is about it for today's video, guys. I am super, I was super excited about today's Ultimate Legends in general. I really did enjoy them. In my personal opinion, guys, there was a few. At first, like when I was thinking about it, I thought that maybe there would be some cards I didn't like from today, depending on their stats. Now, just based off their stats alone, guys, that Krishna Koi is a monster. I've been telling you guys as far as fullbacks wait. He has the speed, the carry. You can use him as a run. You can use him as a fullback back for a dive. You can even be an impact blocker. He plays like an old school jacked ass fullback. While also being able to play as a receiver slash running back. His catching's not great, but he's so fast. You get him in open field, he's gonna make plays. He can truck. He's got strength. He has an LTD though. He's gonna be crazy expensive. Now the thing with him though is that you can use your power pass on him. And then guys, Joe Thomas. I think that's a no-brainer. Might have to might have to scoop him up over Walter Jones. In comparison to Walter Jones, like I said, like he could be he's super solid, guys. Power up Joe Thomas, gonna be one of the best left tackles for pass blocking. Gonna have to wait for him to come down in value just a little bit though. And then mean Joe Green, probably the best defensive tackle in Madden right now. Athleticism combined, one of the best pass rush block shit combos. But guys, again, they're all gonna be expensive for the time being. I would definitely recommend you wait till next Saturday in order to pick these guys up. Do not pick them up this weekend because they're gonna be way more expensive than they should be. But guys, that's about it for the video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. 
hit that subscribe button. Turn on the new bell, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out today's market video. Greatly appreciate it if you guys can go ahead and, ahead and do that. But guys, been a fun week. Finally back on vacation. Feels good to be back on the grind. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.